Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, XWA0OKV, all the way back in the early 1970s when I built a crystal oscillator circuit, something like this. Now, this is just a general recollection. I don't remember the exact component values and arrangement, but I do remember distinctly that the crystal was connected between the base of an NPN bipolar transistor and ground, not in the conventional Pierce configuration where it would go between the collector and the base. I put a Morse code key, an old straight key, in the emitter line 100 picofarad variable capacitor, 10 microhenry inductor, 47 ohm resistor, 0.01 microfarads, about 1,000 ohms and 10K. This is to bias the NPN bipolar transistor in the class A mode, that is, so that it operates in the middle of the straight line portion of the characteristic curve. And I don't know exactly what those values were. This was about 0 0.001 microfarads. Uh, and so it was something like this. Now the, the objective, the idea was that this quartz crystal, and I distinctly remember the frequency, would act as a resonant circuit similar to this one here. You tune this one here to 7.035 megahertz. And you try to erase that green blob. 7.035 megahertz, 7.035 megahertz. The idea was that the, the existence of high gain in this transistor and the combination of these two identical resonant frequencies would produce some sort of oscillation uh, because it was just such an unstable circuit. It's basically a, a class A amplifier that's just extremely unstable but uh, de but uh, designed to be unstable at 7.035 megahertz. Now it was something like this. Now if you decide to build one of these, this output capacitor, by the way, would probably be about 0 0.001 microfarad, something like that. Uh, this 0 0.01 is a little larger bypass capacitor value. 47 ohms for the resistor chosen to match a 50 ohm antenna. And so I connected this right to my radio antenna, my 40 meter dipole. And a guy across town did in fact hear me. He said I wasn't very strong and there's probably a good reason for that because I think this thing only put out about 10 or 20 milliwatts of power. But people have made contacts with low power levels like that on 7.035 megahertz. I have to confess that I never did as WA0. OKV, growing up as a kid in Rochester, Minnesota, spending my time between my own little nerd cave down there in the fallout shelter and the swimming pool where I was training with the hope of someday swimming in the Olympics, which I never even came close to accomplishing. But it was fun anyway, swimming in an unheated pool in Minnesota at seven in the morning. That was a trip. And this was too. It was just fun. I used to build little things like this. So uh, get some parts, throw them together, make this thing work. You know, that's the idea of being an experimenter is you mess around with these little gadgets and gimmicks until you make them work. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, signing off for now, saying 73 best regards, and so long. Da-da-da-da-da-da.